Esports. It has already been a glowing success on this road trip, and they'll try to close it out with another W tonight. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. The Wild have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Scores! And this place is rocking and rolling now. Well, I'm not sure what the coach said in the pregame speech, James, but it's certainly worth thinking about ready to play. Well, this is just a power play made on a power drive, James. And he's a power forward, and he is known for it, the way he shields a puck and drives the paint. And everyone's got to honor him, and then he finds the open player, and they put it home. The Wild have to be feeling good about this start. They were preaching it before the game, but Cheryl, they have executed. They've executed. They've come out so aggressive and urgent. This is exactly what you want, not giving an inch of ice to their opponent. Cruz won the draw here in the open ice. The Flyers gain the zone. Hammers it into the boards. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. Lots of time left in this period. Minnesota's ahead, 1-0. Michaels won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. From off the wall and onto a stick. Drives it to the crease. Scores! possession of the puck after that neutral zone face-off. And he lowers the boom there. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. There's an injection of energy with that hit. And a strong physical collision on the play there. Oh, what a stop with the paddle. won the face-off. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. And he loses control of the puck. Handles it over to Atkinson. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. James, I think it's the appreciation for the desperation save, the complete the will to keep that puck out of the net, and they're really showing him the love. Oh, he came to bring the physicality tonight. And now he moves it quickly to Prosser. Philadelphia's got the puck in the defensive end. Quick stop! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Minnesota's got a 2-0 lead. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Chris has got the puck and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, but he makes a key save right there. Really important that he keeps his head and focus in the game. Heatley's all-alone zone ability comes from his confidence once he gets in by himself and finishes off the play by turning on that red light, guys. He's got the edge when it's just him and the goaltender. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. Minnesota's through center and now in the offensive end. Quick feed to Hayes. Pitlick's gaining momentum. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Gets the puck over to Heatley. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Feeds the puck to Granlin. 
The Flyers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Grabs control of it at the point. Takes a shot. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Minnesota's gained possession. Slides it over with pace to Kane. Dumps the puck in. The Flyers have it against the wall. Great pass off the boards. Centering feed. Handles the pass from the right wing. Sits in front. Of it. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck. The Wild have it in their own zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Rocks them. The Flyers take possession in the defensive end. Here we go, on man rush. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. That's blocked. Gains the zone along the right wall. Moves it to Heatley. Philadelphia's gained possession along the boards. Minnesota's got the puck. And he takes the feed. Look out. There's someone stepping up with some physicality. I like this, James. You're almost out of the game, but you're finding a way to claw yourself back physically. And no better way to send a message than lay a huge one. Stop by the goaltender. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Giroux's known to bring the offense for his team. Johns is known for his wheel zone ability, that speed he uses to create chances. Those are two players I know I'm going to be keeping an eye on tonight. Let's see if one of them can give their team the upper hand. Guys, back to you. Pinned up along the boards. And that's knocked away by Couturier. Moves it quickly over to Johns. 
Rocked him along the wall. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Oh, just a textbook hit. Yeah, you can see this one coming, Cheryl. Yeah, and you hate to see this, James. A player down, never the look you want, but you also know that it has to be responded for. There has to be action when a guy's on the ice. And there's the takedown, and I think not a moment too soon, at least with one of these fighters. Yeah, if you're the one that's underneath and on the ice, you want to take your five-minute ticket and march yourself over to the penalty box and get your rest. Both coaches seem to have settled down their benches, and both teams are lining up here for the face-off. Denied by the puck stopper. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Silverberg's playing with such confidence right now, and he's got this point streak going, and when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. Here in the later stages of this period, Minnesota's fans are loving every minute of this one oh. as they lead 4-0. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Slides the puck over. And he was ready for that one. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Play is back underway here. Here's a blast. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Keep him out of the game, James. We just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. Not good at all. Uh, huge blow for the team, and, and somebody who's just so well liked too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. Denies it with a save, and they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's been a rout thus far. 4-0 is where we're sitting. Minnesota's won the face-off deep in their own end. Johns gains the zone. Champion's able to corral that pass. He's got the puck on his stick. You know he's dangerous. He's got two in the game. He's looking for another. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Puck and they'll go on the attack. Oh! Big save in front. Johns gets a nice opportunity on net in his first game back after rehabbing his injury, James. That's got to feel good. Tries to feed it across. Handles the puck. Oh, what a save of the play! Whoa! He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off, ready to resume play. The Flyers win the draw. And he slides it quickly to Myers. And here's a pass to Konechny. Uses the force on that hit. James, you... Here we go, Sheriff. They're gonna go. No one can take liberties with your star players. You have to protect them. And when you send an enforcer out there, you're sending a message not only to the team you're playing now, but the teams you're going to play in the future. And scores the takedown, and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's going to be the victor in this one. Hockey is played at high levels, and it's so intense, and sometimes frustrations and emotions boil over. 
And this fight is a result of that, but the winning team is gonna be the home team, and you can feel it in the building. All the energy has been built for the home team. Philadelphia is gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Shot! Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Lots of time left in this period. 4-0 is where we sit. This has been a very, very one-sided contest. And he blocks the shot. Great defensive play. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. And he slides it quickly to Granlin. Slides it to Richards. He carries the puck up along the wing. To his teammate. And that's deflected. Loses his balance on the play. Quick pass to Richards. Sends a pass over. Sacrifices the body to block that in front. Here's a short pass to Heatley. Minnesota's gained the line and into the zone. Quick pass across to Voracek. Takes the pass. A chance in front. Picked off in front. He says that all alone. He scores! Oh, yeah, what a finish! Well, I love that he used his speed and didn't slow down, James. And it's all about patience and composure. Elevating the goaltender, finding the room and burying it. Well, this is just an incredible move on the breakaway, James. No panic at all. A ton of patience and composure with the puck. Just outweighting the goaltender to make the first move and then putting it in the back of the net. have continued to run up the score here in the second. Well, they're finding ways to get the puck to the net. I mean, they're changing their angle, and they're retrieving it when there's been a save made. I mean, that's just showing a level of urgency offensively. But how about the other end, not giving up anything defensively? The coach is going to be happy about that. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. And lowers the boom with a big-time hit. Well, this is a message-sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Takes it into the slot. Pat save. Oh, he got all of that one. Minnesota's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Denies him! Philadelphia's across the blue line. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. White continues here, but this crowd's still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now. James, they're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And scores! Sean Couturier! That's what you call having a nap for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there are defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. The Flyers have to send a message here and push back here, Cheryl. They've got something to build on, at least. Yeah, they do, and they have the puck on their stick. They have the majority of the possession time. It just hasn't been going their way. They're trailing in this one, but if they can keep that possession time and recognize when to attack the net, they can get back. Picked up along the boards by Borchek. Oh, a clutch save! Chris is in a great position to be able to make that stop, James. That's in a high-scoring area. It's a threat. Great A, and he makes a stop. Faraday's right. got the puck. Skates to the crease. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Moves it to Voracek. Great read by the goalie as he pokes it away with a stick. Crisp's been really sharp tonight, James. And then just have a look at his save percentage. And he's making the stops that he needs to. But man, this team's played well. They've got going north. They've created opportunities. And the reason why, they have a healthy lead. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Makes the save! We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Connect these out for 
the remainder of the game, James, with that injury he suffered earlier. We've just received word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game, and now we know for sure he won't be back. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Moves it over to Ristolainen. And the save. Denies him again. This is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware. Knows where the shooter is in that low slot. And makes the save. Minnesota's had the better scoring opportunities. And lots of them. Which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Michael's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Minnesota's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net, and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Johns. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Quick pass to Hayes. Oh, he hammered him on the play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. Power forwards can be so difficult to contain. Why? Because you can hear them coming, James. They have the ability to deliver bone-crushing hits. And makes the save. Slides it quickly to Lindblom. Great read by Vanek. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Cuts to the front. And hang on to the biscuit after that. Giroux's got the puck along the wing. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Puck picked up by Faraby. Oh, my, you can feel that from here. Well, that has to hurt. Oh, top right for the shooters. It goes off the inside post and stays out. Minnesota's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. Grandlin's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Rocked him in the open ice. Here's a short pass to Faraby. Unable to reach that one. Tosses it to Grandlin. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. And that pass is redirected. Taken by Sanheim. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Hollandville stick handling in his own zone. Shoot it. There's the horn. Two periods down, a third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. Just moments away from the start of the third period. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Minnesota has been dominant through two periods of play, James. They have a comfortable lead now, and the coach can look down their bench and say, hey, listen, let's get everyone out there. Let's maintain the energy. Let's finish this off right. Let's bring it home. Still plenty of time left in this frame. 5-1 is where we sit to this point. Cruz gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. And it's a quick pass to Ristolainen. Gains control of the puck here at the blue line. He scores! Off the pipe and bulging the twine. Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. 
When you hear the ping, you certainly know that you've beaten the goaltender clean, and this is what happens here, but it doesn't come out. It goes in the net. Philadelphia's got to find a way to continue to attack here now, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and they're going to do that by throwing defensive structure out the window and just pushing forward. You can expect four players to be involved in the attack when they get going north. Moves it to Atkinson. Denies him in close. He's got those magic mitts, James, and he also has patience. And when those two factors are combined, they create space. And when he gets that space, he attacks the net. This time, though, the goaltender shuts him down. Sends it quickly to Atkinson. From the neutral zone, moving forward here along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Myers. Takes a shot. Oh, what a close save there! Myers gets a shot on goal, and he's back on the ice after serving that five-minute major for fighting, and you can be frustrated, but listen, you got to get scoring chances. you got to be on the ice to get them. Scooped up along the wall by Prosser. And that slides right out to center ice. Puck grab by Myers. He got all of that one. Through center along the wing. Puts it on net. Minnesota's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities and they lead it big time early in the third. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Great reach with the poke check. Jostled off the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Strong defensive effort. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Prosser. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Quick pass to Lindblom. Passes out front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Minnesota's been way more active here tonight on the ice, and they have certainly capitalized on their opportunities and continue to lead in the third. Puck picked up by Costas Bear. Now a quick pass to Kane. opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender and for the goaltender it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes so it's out battling out working your opponent for those sight lines he does an impressive job of making that save more than half the period left to play it's a 5-2 hockey game offense is on face off and he wins the draw And he takes the dish. Solid body contact. Here he is from the slot. And now it's grabbed by Johns. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. Along the half wall with the puck. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Lawton's got the puck in his own zone. Minnesota's got the puck. He looks deep to Johns. Here he is all along. Shooters getting tossed with a game misconduct. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Yonkers won it in their own end. On the right side, takes the pass. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Moves it to Ristolainen. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Great read by the keeper to poke it away. Reaches out and uses the stick. The Wild have taken over in the neutral zone. 
Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Moves it quickly over to Johns. And makes the save. That's what we call a ready goalie, James. Ready for anything. The pass across and to be able to steal one. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Oh, he's saved him. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Minnesota's bags are packed, and they are ready to roll out immediately following this one tonight as they kick off a road trip. Stalls won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Oh, excellent play and goal there. This is just great puck control to put the puck to the corner. No second shot opportunity. Oh, and look who gets rocked once again. Well, he's a target now, James, because he's got a lack of spatial awareness. you got to keep your head up if you want to play this game and be safe in it. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Quick shot! Misses, and did he ever step into that one? Well, that puck movement is designed to set him up for the one-timer where he's got that lethal shot, James. Doesn't matter how hard it is if it doesn't hit the net, though. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Sends it in front! Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Takes a shot, and that's blocked away. Finds some space in the corner. Grabbed along the board by Silverberg. What a hit on the play, oh my! Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags them, knowing full well that he's gonna disengage that puck. <laughs> Love it. There's a shot, and that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Here's a shot, comes up with the stop. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Johns will look to win the draw to continue this power play. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Turns him away! There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Hayes hoping for some puck luck here on this face-off as they continue to play shorthanded. And they'll start with possession. Here's a shot! Oh, tremendous stop of the play! Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. They are really busy here on the offensive end. And it's taken by the defense! And now it's over to Ristolainen. We got a whistle offside the call. Carlin Bade is standing by with her answer to the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Carlin? Johns was the more noticeable player, in my opinion, guys. Being able to generate chances is how he contributed to his team tonight. Quick feed to Myers. On the attack along the boards. Oh, oh, what a chance here. They gain the zone. Broken up. What a play defensively. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Moves it to the middle. Off a stick, and they can't complete the play. Works it across to Giroux. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep. Tries to feed it over to Johns. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Here we go. Look at this. They are really applying the squeeze now in the offensive end. Strong use of the body. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Tries to the crease. Quick pass to Kane. Minnesota's on the attack. Frustrating for that first unit not to be able to capitalize on the power play, but here comes the second unit. There's still time on the clock to be able to get one on the board. 
Stalls ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Couturier's won it off the faceoff. Take it along the wall by Silverberg. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Couturier's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Lawton. Nice zone entry from the right side. And that pass goes off a stick. Can't keep a hold of it. Makes his presence known on the ice. Paula standing up, ready to go. Philadelphia's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Great pass from off the right side. Philadelphia's finally back to even strength. They kill off the major. What an effort. A oh, five-minute major. That power play should be licking their chops, and they come up with nothing, James. That is a difficult one to take for the entire bench. Minnesota's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Coyden's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Stones him in front. Well, that's an unbelievable save. A great A scoring chance taken away as he flashes the leather and makes a stop. Minnesota's looking to close things out here late in this third period as they continue to lead. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. The Flyers have played from the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Sandheim. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there. Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he get nailed. Here's a blast. Big stick save by the goaltender. Here in the late going to the frame, Minnesota's got a 5-2 lead. The Flyers win the draw, now let's see what they can do with it. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. He got all of that hit on the play. Power forwards drive the lanes and they drive bodies, and that one's perfectly executed. Moves it to the middle, and that shot's blocked. Oh, what a save on the play! Anytime you're in the grade-A scoring chances and you're funneled tight to the net, you want to make sure you get a quick-release shot off. There's coverage there. It's all about accuracy at that point, and he doesn't miss. Philadelphia's got to dig down and see if they've got a couple more of those on their sticks tonight. If only they could start that way, hey, James? No but they kidding. need to look to finish with desperation and urgency if they want to give themselves an opportunity to even get their tender out. The Flyers get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. They're going to have to find a way to get a goal here critically as they've got the extra attacker out. Oh, that's a good hit. Crisp's been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he is out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much-needed rest. Scores! There it is! It's the hat trick for Well, how's that for a performance in your home building? You might as well pop up your chest a little bit. What does you got the confidence and the swagger in your home building as all the hats come raining down? Oh, man, he's an incredible passer, James. I mean, he's got IQ and awareness, so he knows where he wants to put the puck, so he's one step ahead of everyone. But then it's all about your delivery. You have to give a pass that someone can receive. So the perfect timing or the temperature, you want to make sure that it's flat, it's crisp, but he seems to do it every single time. What a special moment here for the youngster with his first career hat trick, and oh, I'm sure there's some proud parents watching right now, too. Yeah, I mean, and the athlete himself, I mean, just proud of his performance tonight. You're never expecting to get a hat trick or anyone on the ice, let alone a rookie, and that's going to be a huge confidence builder, and you know that the coaching staff loves it. They're finding a guy that's got a knack for the net. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Final seconds of this 
one, and the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Silverberg. And that's it! Champions Hattrick leads the win on road to victory tonight. Yeah, he got himself in good position, didn't he? He's a pure goal scorer, and he didn't disappoint tonight. And the fans are getting loud once again to salute their warriors here, Cheryl. Oh, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I mean, this is the connection that you see between the fan base and their team, and it's a tradition, right? You come out on the ice, and you want to salute them and say thank you for providing energy throughout the game. And that'll do it for this one here tonight. For all of us at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski.